Detective Potato. Pepper and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. <laughs> Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, oh, up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. <laughs> I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Pepper likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car. Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. Nope. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing. Oh, ho, ho. it's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> Merry Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? 
Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world. So we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket. <gasps> Does that mean? Yes, it means we're going to America. America. Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America. I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming in to land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Ash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night, night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Superhero party! Today is Pedro Pony's <laughs> birthday. He is having a superhero party. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. <laughs> Hello. Here are Pepper and George. Oh, you're dressed like Super Potato too. <laughs> yes, Super Potato. <laughs> Hello. All the children are dressed as Super Potato. What fun! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> Why are you blinking your eyes at me? I am using my X-ray eyes to see what is in your tummy. What? It's just pretend, Danny. <laughs> am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, 
I'm a potato. It is the real super potato. Hello down there. Hope I'm not late. <laughs> Where is Pedro the pony? That's me. You sent me this message. It says, come to my party. It's a party invite. So I'm here to save the day. Who do I rescue? Nobody needs rescuing. It's a birthday party. Oh, in that case, I'll be on my way. Please stay, Super Potato. We're going to play party games. And we've got balloons. Party games and balloons? OK, I'll stay. Hooray! This game is called Pass the Parcel. Inside the parcel is a surprise toy, which one of the players will win. Sounds great. How do we play? I start the music. The parcel is passed around, and when the music stops, one layer of paper is unwrapped. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder what's inside. No one knows. That's what makes the game such fun. Time to use my X-ray eyes. Inside the parcel is a toy car. <gasps> You can't look inside the parcel. That's cheating. OK, I'll unwrap it using super strength. <gasps> so, do I win? No, no, no. This is a children's game. You can't use x-ray eyes or super strength. But I'm a superhero. If you want to stay at the party, you'll have to promise not to use your superpowers. OK. I promise not to use my superpowers. Thank you. Now it's time for the balloons. Yippee! Balloons! <laughs> there you go, George. Don't let go. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Here's another one. <laughs> Who else wants a balloon? Me, me, me! I wonder how big I can make them. Wow! It's the biggest balloon in the world. Yes, I suppose it might be. Ah! She's going up. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll stop when I get to the ceiling. As long as there isn't any window open. Oh, dear. There is a window open. Perhaps I should have closed that. Ah! Ah! Super Potato, fly after her. But I promise not to use my superpowers. And I never break a promise. Save me! Super Potato, we need you to use your superpowers now! Really? I'm allowed to? Yes! yes. OK! Time to use my laser eyes to pop the balloon! Brilliant! Now what? Um, I know. I'll use my super elastic arms to catch you. Oof! Super Potato has rescued Miss Rabbit. Hooray! Thank you! No problem. I'm a potato. I always save the day. Super Potato is amazing! This is my best birthday party ever! <laughs> Pedro loves superhero parties. <laughs> Everyone loves superhero parties. <laughs> Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr. Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the sand digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. This is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sand castle. Let's go to the next. Ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! Okay, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal 
faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa! <laughs> Nearly finished! There! A lovely wall! Oh. Here comes George with a demolition digger! <laughs> oh dear! George has knocked down Peppa's wall! <laughs> oh, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh, Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Brr. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! <laughs> the Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your Digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> Potato City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is Potato City, Mummy? It's a theme park, Pepper, where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. <laughs> Here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. Fantastic! How many tickets? Two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No, this is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow, learn how they keep us fit and healthy, and get shot into space by the Potato Rocket! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the Potato Rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket too. 
Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. <clears throat> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. <laughs> ah! Daddy. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Dinosaur. <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, Whee! where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> 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 <laughs>